new show down in Kwai Hing Fong examines the fuzzy relationship between public and private space. We caught up with artist Elizabeth Briel to find out more. I think in terms of, you know, how does the private space interface with the public, architectural design really does show a society's priorities. How do, and a lot of my work has to do with this, it's two perspectives at the same time, and that's why I chose these. So you're on the outside looking in, and also on the inside looking out simultaneously. Because I'm a foreigner here, I don't belong here, I never will. Um, and yet, I live within this society, and I'm also outside it at the same time. So that's what drew me to this. In terms of public space, um, I do think, so a lot of these are actually ways to keep the public out gracefully and beautifully in a sense, and yet to allow them to come in. So my neighbors in these, we have kind of a quasi public space in Shamshui Po. So this is a ninth floor walk up. We see every neighbor's house on the way up because they keep the gates shut, but um, the doors are open most of the year. So you see, you smell the food they're cooking. You see them hanging out in the living room. They're smoking and stuff. So we have a lot of that. And I think that also even continues on to the street, the street life that we have specifically in Shamshui Po. I'm on Geilong Gai, which is the fabric street. So even the fabric sellers who are outside, they have their shops are also inside, you know, publicly accessible. And my landlady was freaked out when I rented the space. She said, be sure you lock your door all the time because the public does come up into our stairwells. It right. is very public that way, yeah. Whereas in, in many other parts, the newer buildings, there's a very harsh boundary between the public and the private. Yes, the same in off. like North America, where I'm from too, we have right. these really strong divisions. But here and in other places, I've honestly really enjoyed living. Those are softer divisions, and I like that a great deal. We have, you know, when you live in your cars all the time, but, but here I find Hong Kong is, um, at least in a societal level, it's very democratic in terms of how we use public transport. You have people of all income levels using the MTR, etc., because it is so, it's a very egalitarian and extremely efficient way to use the city and to live together.